Greetings, family. The Lord bless you. This is Pepper San Marita. Bless with Pastor Honorine. Thank you for being a part of the family. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you for subscribing. And make sure, please, you click that notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. I have an urgent and a necessary word for someone. A word that will change your life for the rest of your days. God says, Quit complaining. God says, I should tell you, quit complaining. Are you someone who, fall, who finds yourself always in the mood of grumbling and complaining about life? When life hits you, when you are going through difficult times, through, through difficult times, what do you do? Do you complain about it or you, or you turn to God about it? Do you have the tendency of complaining about things that you don't want, about things that you don't like, about things that you want God to change? Look back at the things that you used to pray and believe God for in time past. Have they now become a burden to you? Have they now become another reason for you to pray or for you to complain? Then this word is for you. It comes from the book of Numbers chapter 11. The Bible says in the first verse, the first two verses, it says that the Israelites began to complain and grumble. And, and God, in the, the Amplified Version says, and God looked at it as pure evil. And then that stirred up an anger in the heart of God. It kindled an anger in the heart of God. And God sent fire to consume the, all those who were at the borders of the camp. This made me to understand that God doesn't know. I, I have always known that when you complain, when you complain, it's an act of ingratitude. When you complain, it is you expressing ingratitude. It is you feeling like you are too much. You are too big to go through this. You are too much to go through this. So it's an act of ingratitude and it's an act of pride. But then God now says, the Bible says God looked at it as evil. So every time that you, are com that you complain, God looks at you as being evil. You know why? Because God is a good God. I bet that you who is complaining, even though you are complaining about that thing, there is something that God has done in your life. Just the fact just the fact that you are alive to, to complain is a testimony. The fact that you are alive to complain is a testimony. But for you to complain, it means you neglect everything that God has done and your eyes are fixed on what God has not done. It, it, it makes you not just ungrateful, it makes you evil. God calls you evil. And then secondly... After that, that come, the complaining is stirred the heart of God. It stirred the anger of God. So every time you complain, you stir anger in God's heart. Every time you complain, you stir anger in God's heart. Every time you complain, God is angry. God is angry. And then the third point that amazed me was the fact that complaining, if we see in Numbers Chapter 11 and verse 10. The Bible says that the, the Israelites complained again. They complained again. Numbers 11 verse 10. The Bible says the Israelites complained again about not having meat. The Bible says God looked at it as pure evil. And, and this time around, it wasn't just God that looked at it as evil. Even Moses looked at it as evil. Because in the last time that they complained at the beginning of the chapter, when God sent the fire, it was Moses they cried to. And Moses had to pray to God for God to, for the fire to subside. And then just in that same chapter, they are complaining immediately after that they start complaining about some other thing so even Moses looked at it as evil and Moses turned to God and cried to God and said why are you burdening me with these people why have you made these people a burden to me am I the one who gave birth to them why I say say kill me God tells Moses tells God kill me kill me if you will not take these people away from me just kill me and I'm asking myself what would these people gain if, more, if God actually answers his prayer and kills? And that's what most of us church members do to our pastors. Every time you keep complaining and to the man who prays for you, to the man who stands in the gap for you, he prays for you, makes declaration for you, but you keep complaining. You are killing his faith. 
and you are killing him. You are getting him to the place where he wants to give up on the call of God upon his life. Every time that you are as a member, you keep complaining. And they were not just complaining, they were threatening to go back to Egypt. They were threatening to go back to Egypt. So every time you threaten to leave the faith, every time you threaten to leave God, every time you stop coming to church because things are not working, that pastor that has been praying for Christ to be formed in you, has been praying for a breakthrough for you, what do you think he's going through? It's a, it's a point of discouragement. He wants to quit pastoring. And you know what? That's what happens at the end of the day. That's why at the end of the day, Moses didn't enter the promised land because they asked for water and they complained and kept on complaining until it got to a point and, 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 and Moses was so angry. He was so angry that they asked for water and God told him to speak to the rock and out of anger, he struck the rock and he called the people a stiff necked people. And you know what? God told him he was not going to enter the promised land. Someone you you might have just with your complaints and with your grumbleness with your grumpy attitude and frequent backsliding you might have caused your your, your pastor to, to 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 get out of his assignment you might have caused killed his faith you might have caused him to give up on 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 his assignment moses did not enter the promised land because of the complaints of the israelites you know what? I came to understand that even when they complained for meat, God gave them the meat. But the Bible says while the meat was still in their mouth, God devoured them. God's anger devoured them. That miracle that you complain and get can be the reason why you don't live to see the next day. You don't want God to give you a testimony out of anger. There are better ways to go about it. In my, next le in my next video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can ask of God and not get punished. And God gives you happily how you can ask, how you can make a request and God grants it to you happily. You see that in my next, my next video. God bless you. Shalom.